What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz. Jazz. The Piano Tutorial Man. Back again with another one, two, a three. Classic. Yes, indeedy. You already know who to feed. The ditty. So, yeah, like I said, man. Definitely a classic. Now, this is, I don't listen to Cherry songs, but I do know that this song probably came out around 10 years ago. So it's it's a classic in, you know, in, in the more uh, current R&B, although this is still old R&B, but let's just say it's not from the 70s or 80s. Anyway, I'd like to give a shout out to Tim Johnson. Thank you so much for sponsoring this tutorial. And as you can hear, the song is one of those songs where it's just the same chords over and over again, except for that one lick that, that you heard me do with the do 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 that that just happens on the second verse. Other than that, same thing over and over again. So when the track first starts, you just want to play a B octave. You'll just hear that in the track when he's talking and whatever. You'll just hear that. Okay. Now after you have that B octave, after that the chords that you play throughout the song will be B minor seven, B on the left. A, B, D, F sharp on the right hand. Now keep your right hand exactly where it is and take your left hand and take it down to G. And now give you a G major 9. So G on the left hand. A, B, D, F sharp on the right hand. Now you want to take your left hand. Take it over to E. Keep your right hand the same. And now that's a B minor 7. That's a B minor 7 chord over E. Okay, B minus 7 over E. So you got E on the left, A, B, D, F sharp on the right hand. And then the first time you want to, um, you hit your F sharp 7 chord, F sharp on the left hand, E, F sharp, A sharp on the right hand, and you'll play that little melody. So once you hit the chord, once you hit the chord, you'll hit B natural, and then C sharp. So you'll hit that. So, so far you have. Then you got. Now, that's the first round. Then the second half of the round, will you'll come back to your B minus 7 again. B on the left. A, B, D, F sharp on the right. Now you want to go to a G sharp minor seven flat five, also known as a G sharp half diminished seven. G sharp on the left hand, G sharp, B, D, and F sharp on the right hand. And then you're going to slide down to G major nine, G on the left hand, A, B, D, F sharp on the right hand. Then you're going to take your left hand, move it over to E again, which is B minor 7. That's a B minor 7 with an E in the bass, okay? So E on the left hand, A, B, D, F sharp on the right hand. And then this time, you're going, you, you can hit your F sharp 7 chord, F sharp on the left hand, E, A sharp, C sharp, and you'll go... I'm sorry. Um, then you want to come to G sharp minor, G sharp on the left hand, D sharp, G sharp, B natural on the right hand, and then you'll be on F sharp over A sharp. A sharp on the left, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. So it'll be like, um, I'm sorry, why am I messing this up? Um, there you go. It's like that. That's that. That's the pattern. Is now if you want to simplify it, you can simplify that by just doing this. Okay, so here's a simpler way of doing that, uh, which is just simply F sharp on the left hand. You're just playing in the major thirds, basically. F sharp and A sharp, right? And you'll go. Then you'll do the G sharp minor third, which is G sharp on the left hand, G sharp B on the left hand. 
And then you have A sharp on the left hand, A sharp and D sharp. That'll still give you that same vibe. Or you can go whichever way you want to do it. That's the first way I showed you. The first way I showed you was Actually, I did this. Or you can just go. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the whole song. You play that for the whole song. There's only the one section. Well, let me play all that first. And then I'll show you that little lick that I, I'll play with. I think he goes, girl, you're just so fine. Da, 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 da. And after that, he just sticks to the same thing. But taking that out, this is the whole song right here. Or all the chords you'll play for the whole song. Okay, that's all you need for the whole song, to be honest with you. Just don't forget that they play... It's just a B octave at the beginning of the song. Now, when he gets to the second verse, <coughs> about halfway through the verse, you'll hear the B minus seven. Okay, this is, which is normal, which is what you plan throughout the song. So he, he's singing a verse halfway through it, B minus seven. Then he goes to the G major nine. And as soon as you hit the G, it'll, it'll go one, two. I don't even know if it's two, four beats. So hit the G major nine, and then you'll hear. Now, all that is, is. Girl, you. I'm sorry. Girl, you're just so fine. That's all these are octaves, not chords, octaves. G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp is the first lick. Girl, you just so fine. Again, that's G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp. Girl, you just so fine. Then he'll go D, C sharp, B, C sharp, A sharp. So it's do 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 do. All right, and then he'll hit just simply F sharp seven chord, and he hits it twice. So that's just F sharp on the left hand, A sharp, C sharp, E, and F sharp on the right hand. So you'll hear, girl, you're just so fun. Do, 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 do. And then it just goes right back to the rest of the song. Just, just as normal. Just as normal. Okay, so one more time. So the way you put that in is like the second verse, he'll start it off. He'll do it, he'll do it normally first. Then you got the... Then you got... The, right? And then he got the... And then he'll go, and then go, girl, you're just so fun. Do, 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 do. And then go right back to where you were. <laughs> and then you got the, and when you're ready to end the song, you just end the song on B minor seven. But literally, that's the whole song. That's how you get through the whole song. So hopefully that helped you out, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.